Hello, my name is Jessica Berry. I am a communications student at the University of North Florida. I will be discussing Titan, the Life of John D. Rockefeller Sr., the book by Ron Chernow for my ENC 3250 class with Professor Priscilla Berry. The start of this book begins with our author, Ron Chernow, interviewing John D. Rockefeller Sr. The thesis that I came up with after completing this book was that because of Rockefeller's upbringing, he was able to be the man he is today. Now, as it is a biography, it only makes sense that we would be looking deeper into his life and how he came to be. For this summary, if you can see that, uh, the majority of this book focuses on Rockefeller's father, William, or Bill Rockefeller, and it focuses on the allegations and libels against him, what it was like having him as a father, how his father met his mother, and so many other aspects of his life, including how he sold items and how he was a peddler. Um, Rockefeller, because his father was a peddler and was used to selling stuff, he would leave the family for months on end, be a peddler, go to different towns, sell different things, and then come back with a bunch of jewels and riches on a horse and like, as if everything were okay, spoil the children and then up and leave again to go do the same thing over and over and over. Uh, so Rockefeller ended up growing up in somewhat of a business setting, preparing him for his later years, giving him the knowledge and mindset that he needed about money. So that also means that he spent a lot more time hanging around his mother than he did his father. So the story behind how his parents met is one time he went up to Rockefeller's mother, who would be his mother, right? His, her house. And he pretended to be deaf and dumb. And the mom said, if he wasn't deaf and dumb, I might marry that man because he was known to be attractive. He was known to be somewhat of a womanizer. And he ended up getting $500 from his mother's father to marry her. And so they made a small little house together. It was nothing very impressive. And he ended up hiring the girl that he wanted to marry before Rockefeller's mother as, an, as a maid and having illegitimate children with her. So it was, it was a big mix up. So not only was he a womanizer, but he had illegitimate children and all that other stuff. Um, Rockefeller, when he was speaking about his father throughout the book, did show some emotion as anyone would. It's their parents and he didn't like people talking badly about his father and he came from somewhat humble beginnings i say that because like how i mentioned they had the 500 dollars and they made somewhat of a humble abode while they were there so yeah So my thoughts overall is that this book should be renamed <laughs> the biography of Bill Rockefeller just because it doesn't so much focus on John D. Rockefeller Sr. as it does his father. Like the majority of the book really just talks about his father being a peddler and being skeevy, conniving. And one of the things that Rockefeller's father taught him was it basically it doesn't matter how you get the money just get the money. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, ethical or not, just do what you gotta do, get your money. For instance, one little tactic his father used was he went and was trying to buy something off of somebody else for a thousand dollars. And the guy was like, no way. And he said, okay, well, let's have a shoot off. And if I win, 
then I get the thousand dollars off. If you win, I'll pay the extra thousand. And of course, Bill Rockefeller's Bill Rockefeller won. So yeah, and he got the thousand dollars off. It is insightful though to see who his dad was and how it impacted him because we are nature versus nurture when it comes to growing up. So his dad definitely did have an impact when it comes to molding him. Although his father was known to be a little bit rednecky, he grew up with his mother, more time with his mother, mother, which is why I believe that he was more educated and composed than if his father would have been there all the time. And I say that because his mother was known to be basically higher class. Okay, and so I would like to close out this presentation by saying that Rockefeller was in fact, as we all know, a very successful man. And without his father's presence, like I said, he would not be the man he is today. Without his mother's presence, he would not be the man he is today. And it all led up to this moment. I feel like if he didn't have his father giving him that mindset about money, that it doesn't matter how, you just need to get it that he probably would not be as successful as he is today. He also spent a lot of time growing up around his grandfather, who, his mother's father, who was rich and known to be more wealthy. And that helped him have his educated and successful side and the money side. So together that created a very good combination for him to become the person that he needed to be. And with that, I feel like from this book, I learned a lot and I feel like learning about who his father was will definitely help me in my career going forwards because my ideas of money was very different than his as I feel I am more ethical when it comes to selling and buying and all that kind of stuff but obviously i do not think that one should take it to the level that bill rockefeller did as he was hated and had a lot of allegations and libels against him he wasn't completely hated but you know not very well liked people felt ripped off sometimes so i think there's a little something we can all learn by reading this book titan the life of john d rockefeller by ron chernow Thank you.